I am honored to have been chosen to serve in this role and will do my best to follow your example and that of the other past presidents that are here with us today. I look forward to working with Chris and the staff of the GFOA, the executive board, our standing committees, state and provincial organizations, and all of you, the members of the GFOA. This is your GFOA. When you think and talk about this organization, remember to own it. We are all its parts, and together we are powerful. We have much, we have much to contribute and much to gain from being here together. That is your GFOA. I hope each of you will take something home from this conference. Maybe it is empowerment. GFOA serves all levels of state, local, and provincial governments with advocacy, training, and resources to help these organizations succeed in creating vibrant communities. Perhaps it is encouragement that you are not alone in service to your community. GFOA serves professionals working in the public finance field with training and in-depth resources you carry the needs of your jurisdiction, and GFOA is your partner in the broader world of public finance. And knowledge about your chosen field. GFOA is a powerful resource that you can turn to for in-depth resources that originate from the real world experiences of your peers. GFOA facilitates our ability to network and build relationships. We can be more effective and resilient when we leverage our GFOA membership. And lastly, advocacy. Join the conversation. I would encourage you to share your story on how tax-exempt municipal bonds have built your community. Congress is currently discussing comprehensive tax reform, and GFOA would like to remind them how tax-exempt bonds provide an affordable way to finance infrastructure. Tweet a picture of your infrastructure project to at Built by Bonds. Join the conversation. I know that for some of you, this is your first GFOA conference and you are just getting an idea of what this organization is all about. For me, that happened in 2003 when this conference was held in my hometown of New York City. I volunteered with the local host committee and what a great experience it was. I continued to stay involved in GFOA, attending conferences, and joining the Standing Committee on Debt. Since that time, I have increasingly relied on the resources of GFOA in my role as the Finance Director of the Metropolitan Transportation Authority in New York. Or as the bond buyer says, New York. <laughs> being a member of GFOA has been a source of pride and identity, and being involved here has made me more effective within my organization. Being a finance officer means that we are often involved in many core functions of our organization, budgets and accounting, economic development, debt management, treasury and cash management, labor relations and risk management. As you know, within these broad functions, the finance officer is often viewed as a professional who can carry problems with precision and accuracy. We are often brought in to be the expert as the problem solver, the cheerleader, and ultimately the final arbiter of the analysis that our principals and our elected officials turn to. In our increasingly complex world, we need to be ever more nimble and adaptable. The resources, training, and advocacy of GFOA are an ind indispensable set of tools that will help you be effective in your organization and meet the challenge. It is my sincere hope for each of you that you will be invigorated and inspired by this conference, that you will take the things you have learned here and return to your jurisdictions with a renewed sense of community and purpose. And lastly, I'd like to just acknowledge my family, colleagues, and friends that are with me here today. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you.